Located in the heart of Washington, D.C., the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars lies between the Capitol and the White House. Established under the Smithsonian Institution, it's a perfect setting for the world's preeminent research and public policy institution. Woodrow Wilson was an accomplished scholar, renowned university president, and the only U.S. president to hold a Ph.D., and one of four to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. The architect of America's modern international perspective, he established the U.S. as a leader in world affairs. Rather than a monument like those that honor Presidents Washington, Jefferson, and Lincoln, the Woodrow Wilson Center was established in 1968 as a living memorial to the 28th President of the United States and reflects his dedication to the worlds of policy and scholarship. Washington is a land of giants when it comes to study centers and think tanks. They're all over the place, but one stands out among all the others, and that's the Woodrow Wilson International Center. The center provides an essential link to the world of ideas, a safe political space for discussing the hard issues central to the challenges we face. I have always believed that the best solutions to tough problems require a bipartisan approach, and bipartisanship is the center's brand. I think that the scholarly research and the academic excellence of the center are well known and are very beneficial to uh, those in high-level high policy positions in government. I'm very proud to be associated with the Woodrow Wilson Center because I believe we have a very strong impact, a very positive impact on public policy. The Wilson Center maintains specialized programs and projects covering broad areas of study in an arena free of partisanship and advocacy. Program staff organize and host conferences and seminars and support many kinds of research, multimedia communications, and publications on topics relevant to their areas. One of the great experiences I've had and you can have is to simply drop in on a meeting and listen to top flight uh, scholars and policy people talk about uh, China or nanotechnology, or Latin America, or Russia, or Ukraine, uh, or Asia. Uh, the list of topics just goes on and on. We judge a good meeting at the Woodrow Wilson Center by who you get in the room. We want to get people from different backgrounds working on the same problem. We want to have the perspective of the private sector, of the government, of the scholar, of the NGO representative, uh, of the diplomat. We get them into the same room and we hope through their dialogue, not that they'll all agree with each other, because they won't, but that each can learn a little bit from the other. Each year, roughly 150 preeminent academics and practitioners from a wide variety of disciplines, professions, nationalities, and viewpoints are in residence as visiting scholars. The critique, the discussion, the conversation, uh, I find this place to be very unique in that sense. The large presence of international scholars is, is great. The work of the scholars at the Wilson Center lasts for political generations. The Wilson Center is a private-public partnership. Through the Wilson Council, individuals are actively engaged in helping the center achieve its mandate. And through Wilson Alliances, the center's corporate membership program, we give CEOs and their teams access to all sides of pressing global issues. The Woodrow Wilson Center really understands how important it is to have business at the table. Business plays an important role in the global world and the interdependence now between business um, and government uh, is quite evident in terms of really needing all the resources at hand to solve the problems. The Wilson Center attracts world-class speakers from the executive, legislative, and judicial branches of the U.S. government. The center is also a desired venue for heads of state and cabinet ministers from all parts of the world, as well as leaders from journalism, the private sector, and non-governmental organizations. This is a historic and wonderful place for us to assemble. And it's a place where scholars and policymakers can engage in fruitful discourse. I'm honored to be here at the Woodrow Wilson Center. Uh, I want to first of all thank Ambassador uh, Gildenhorn for uh, the outstanding work he does as board chairman here at the Woodrow Wilson Center. The Woodrow Wilson Center maintains an active schedule of programming outside of Washington, D.C. 
particularly in conjunction with many of our Woodrow Wilson Award dinners. Awards are presented to honorees at dinners throughout the world, providing an opportunity to recognize their contributions publicly and to introduce the important work of the center to both national and international audiences. Well, the decision was made to put together a seminar focusing on Mexico as part of the celebration in San Antonio. It was a contribution to the national dialogue in a constructive way. Getting involved, I think, is a very key issue. And being the recipient of the Woodrow Wilson Award focuses back on the Wilson Center and its mission. Uh, a commitment to create an environment of service for the common good. When they gave me the honor, they hosted a day and they brought all sorts of scientists together to exchange ideas. So it wasn't just being honored at a dinner, it was actually doing something that day. The center is very widely respected around the world. It brings the intellectual life of the United States uh, into contact with the like lives of so many other countries, including Australia, and I won't ever forget that wonderful ceremony in Sydney, and I felt very touched by it. Woodrow Wilson said, we live in an age disturbed, confused, bewildered, afraid of its own forces, in search not merely of its road, but even of its direction. This is totally relevant to today and central to the Wilson Center's work. Well, I think uh, that the Woodrow Wilson Center is one of the finest uh, public policy and research institutions uh, in our country. And uh, there is no other institution quite like the Woodrow Wilson Center, and we're all very proud to be associated with it. As President Woodrow Wilson wrote, the man who has the time, the discrimination, and the sagacity to collect and comprehend the principal facts and the man who must act upon them, must draw near to one another and feel that they are engaged in a common enterprise. We at the center feel strongly in President Wilson's idea that the scholar, the policymaker, and the business leader are engaged in a common enterprise. We believe, as Woodrow Wilson believed, that through dialogue, better scholarship and better policy will emerge.